Hey, good morning. It's Mark. I just drove past a hospital that um, in the last, let's see, two and a half years has gone through or into its third ownership. It was owned initially by Hospital Company One, which sold about a year or so ago to Hospital Company Two, uh, and it was just announced um, in the uh, in the paper about two weeks ago uh, that it's now been sold to Hospital Company Number Three. Uh, what's wrong with the picture? What's right with the picture? The first two owners of that facility um, were large hospital ownership companies. Uh, one, the first, a, um, it was a tenant facility. Uh, the second, it was part of a very, very large uh, regional chain. And now it's sold to a uh, very small outfit uh, run out of a different part of the country. This is just another symptom of the uh, shift of care outside or to outside of traditional hospitals. You know, there was a, um, a threat uh, by the uh, immediate prior owner uh, that if a buyer couldn't be found, if the community couldn't help find a buyer for that facility, uh, it was going to be shuttered. Uh, which would uh, not only have put uh, hundreds of people out of work, um, it would have um, caused a disruption for what I would assume are several hundred physicians whose offices are located within a well, five to ten minute drive of that location. The Wall Street Journal, today's paper, with a follow-up story concerning the, uh, you know, rapidly changing landscape at Tenet Healthcare, uh, in particular their uh, their CEO search. Uh, there's an interim CEO in position now. Uh, pointed out that the hospitals had a succession of bad years uh, due to what they blame on two things. One is Obamacare, which is actually kind of interesting, uh, and uh, the second one that I think is probably the more likely cause, but I admit that I am predisposed to see that problem, so full disclosure, and that is they announced that the shift of care from the hospital setting to outpatient setting has impacted their hospital business. Now, they also, you know, recently, the last year or two, went big time uh, into... Um, uh, into ambulatory care uh, in an attempt to shore things up, but it appears as if the hospital side of that business is continuing to be an anchor around their feet. You know, all of this will play out. Uh, it could play out several ways, but certainly the shift from a hospital world to an outpatient world is positive in terms of the ability of physicians to uh, regain control of a significant piece of the healthcare puzzle uh, that was lost uh, in connection with the hospital's alignment of physician practices. Now, query it, what's going to happen to aligned physician practices when there's no longer a hospital in the neighborhood to align with.